Hi and welcome, I'm Nadine Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for united love. And in today's modern world, one of the most crazy, confusing things is that smart, intelligent, accomplished women are dating or chasing men who only give them breadcrumbs. Now, before we deep dive into this very important topic, please subscribe to this channel, give me the thumbs up, click that notification button to get notified of my next hot topic, and please comment below. I want to hear about you, what your needs are, so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. Now, why is it that smart women date men who really don't give them too much at all? They kind of maybe dangle a little bit of a carrot, they keep women hooked in. Well, the reason why women chase men sometimes or put up with kind of crap is not because they're stupid, of course, because a lot of the time it's smart women. And it's not because they don't know better. Just because we know better doesn't mean we do better. There are plenty of things in our lives that we know maybe isn't great for us, but we still do it. Like watching Netflix just before we go to bed or being on our phone without any blue lenses or just being on our phone at all right before we go to sleep, which we know research says affects our sleep. It could be spending time with friends that you know aren't really in alignment with who you are and your values. And why is it that we do these things? Well, we're normally getting a payoff in some way or we haven't evolved in some way deep down that stops us from actually doing the things that don't bring us joy, clarity, things that don't go along with our value. Oftentimes, when we're feeling stressed, anxious, depressive about something, we're normally living in a way that goes against our values. And I talk about this a lot in my videos. So I want to explore with you right here, right now, why it is someone gorgeous, sexy, smart, just like yourself, would put up with breadcrumbs, would spend time with someone who really isn't invested or treating you with love and kindness. And to be honest, 85% of the emails I get or women that come to me for group coaching or private coaching, most of the time, this is a cycle that many of them are stuck in. They really want a guy, they've got someone that they've got their heart set on and that guy isn't showing up for them and yet the woman is addicted and hooked. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the three reasons why someone like you does this and how we can overcome it so that we can spend time with men who love us and are tender and kind and adoring towards us or it'll also help you to change the way that you actually are going about dating with the current man you're interested in and this will allow him some time and space and allow you some time and space to kind of reassess and see if he actually steps up for you. So let's get right into it. Number one, you love drama. Most of us don't like to admit that we kind of might be into drama, but when you're in a relationship which is constantly traumatic some women find comfort in drama. Some men find comfort in drama because if you're with a guy and it's dramatic, then chances are he's into drama too. And two dramatic souls who have grown up in an environment potentially where there's a lot of drama, where it was normal to have conflict and sometimes unresolved conflict, then this can actually teach you that this is kind of normal. And when something isn't dramatic or emotional, or when there's not tears, blaming, shaming, conflict on some level, it can feel boring. It can feel like there's nothing happening to keep you hooked in. But the reality is, is that a really peaceful, flowing relationship doesn't feel overly dramatic. Sure, there will be times when you have some level of conflict that's normal in any relationship. In fact, conflict can actually bring two people together and make the relationship stronger. But a lot of people that are addicted to drama don't see how beautiful an easy relationship actually is. They don't see the value in it. It doesn't turn them on. 
So if you are finding yourself obviously chasing a man and picking up those breadcrumbs, then please pay attention to the drama that's going on inside of you. Even if you're not being dramatic with him so much, there's no communication, but you're still picking up what he's laying down, which is not very often. Like he's basically, you know, dangles that carrot and only gives you something every now and again to keep you hooked in. Then if you're doing that and you're not communicating with him, what you value and your need, then you're not dealing with life and relationship challenges and things that matter to you from a healthy, effective standpoint. So I want you to be in a healthy relationship and I don't want drama for you. So I have a fabulous free gift called Word Poison. I share 16 words and phrases to avoid using with a man or with anyone so that you can build intimacy and avoid words and phrases that actually inflames connections, inflames the dating arena and creates more unnecessary conflict and sparks more drama. So please check out Word Poison right below in the description. Now, the next point is number two, you mistake drama for intimacy. One of the reasons why people do seek drama is because they feel closer to the person even when it's dramatic. They feel this false sense of intimacy because of the hecticness and the dynamic of your communication. So, Just because you're complaining, shouting, crying, it doesn't mean that you're actually having a truly vulnerable, healthy and healing exchange with someone. So to be blaming someone, shaming someone, putting someone down, um, yelling about nothing, bringing in problems from the past that aren't really relative to the current issue at hand or making issues out of nothing or not choosing your battles a little bit wisely, what tends to happen is that you think that this means that you're committed to each other and it's amazing that you're still there even though it's dramatic. And so when there's this breadcrumbing thing going on with a man, it can feel intense, particularly if you do bring things up with him, it can feel like you have such strong feelings for him. It must mean something. You must be into him. He must be into you. And you get glimpses of the best part of him and you get hooked. This is not intimacy. True intimacy is dealing with things together with somebody, not hot and cold behavior, not people giving you what you want when they want something and then not being loving and kind to you when it doesn't suit them or when they don't need anything from you. A healthy, committed relationship is about feeding the relationship and working together daily. It's a daily practice. And this is something that most of us weren't taught when we were younger. And sometimes many of us have, yes, learned these ineffective habits within a family, but also from relationships, from our first, second loves where it was intense. And then maybe we thought that was normal, even if we didn't see it modeled in our family, or maybe within our family, we didn't feel good about ourselves. We didn't feel good enough. We didn't feel like the a valued family member in some way. We felt put down. And if that was what it's like for you in any way, then when you date and you're in your adult life, you can actually um, attract relationships or create the dynamic in a relationship that is not consistent, that is dramatic, unkind and so forth. Or you put up with it. You put up with the breadcrumbs. You don't speak up for fear of being rejected, for fear of losing someone, even if you know that they're not healthy for you. So it's really important to understand that intensity is not necessarily intimacy and expressing yourself and going hell for leather. And if you're saying things to each other that you think are open and raw, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually truly being vulnerable with what you're really truly feeling at the core. And true vulnerability takes two people who are willing to face these challenges, to face these potential flaws within each other, to have a harmonious connection to work together. So the next point is number three, you're hooked to his potential. You're hooked to who he could be, or you're hooked to the best part of him that is only something that you see for a very, very short period of time that you spend with him, or for a very small part of the interaction that you have together. In fact, when I created my program, Never Lose Him, I was inspired by a relationship that was really breadcrumby. I was 
really very much interested in a man who wasn't particularly consistent with me. And it was the, one of the most painful relationships. And when I broke up with him, when I had the courage to break up, when I finally realized my worth, I then realized, well, other women need to know this. And that actually was what inspired Never Lose Him. Then after that relationship, I went out with a very loving man. I finally broke the pattern. And that man having that beautiful, kind relationship rewired my brain to actually only accept for my future, any other man I would date, that this is possible, that there are good, kind, loving, devoted men who are healthy-minded, not perfect, but are healthy enough within themselves, emotionally sound enough, aware enough to want to be able to work with me together as a team. And it was these two relationships, one that was so painful and destructive, and one that was so beautiful and loving, that changed my life forever. But I couldn't break that cycle. I couldn't move from the crappy relationship to the healthy relationship until I was able to actually really honor myself and to really, really wake up to myself, which is actually what a lot of Never Lose Him is all about. So please do, as I said, check it out. The link is right below in the description. So this is what I want for you. I want you to experience the whole cake not just a few crumbs. I want you to experience the Wagyu, not a crappy piece of meat. And for the plant lovers out there, I want you to experience that beautiful fresh pear, not the pear that's been sitting in the fridge for a month at the bottom of the drawer and it's all bruised and yucky. That is not what I want for you. I want you to go to bed at night and wake up every day feeling at peace in your heart. And if you're single or if you're dating someone, also feeling at peace, knowing that that person is present for you, sees you, and wants to be with you. That is the only kind of relationship to have. Even if you're in an open relationship, it's the same thing. How you communicate, how you show up together means everything. Even if a man only wants something casual with you, he'll be honest about it. He won't play games. And if someone is playing games, I want you to be strong enough to say, I want the bloody well new pair. I don't want that pear. That's not good enough for me. It doesn't taste so good. I really want you to taste properly what you're being given so that you know what you're actually accepting. You know what you're actually taking on board and you can actually get a sense of what's healthy for you. Because if he is only giving you the beautiful pear, 10% of the time or even 20% of the time, is that enough for you? Really? Does that satisfy your soul, satisfy your hunger for love, for intimacy, for devotion, for kindness, for respect? If it's only 10, 15, 20% of the time, if most of the time he's serving up, you know, rotten pear, then how is that nutritious? How is that healthy for your soul? How is that going to add joy, happiness to your life? These are the things that is very hard to work out when you're hooked and you've got a lot of subconscious stuff running that's stopping you from being proactive. So remember, someone's potential is not reality. What someone is today is who they are today. Unless they're showing you consistent steps to change the way they are today, to improve themselves for themselves, not just for you, for themselves, then you've got no chance of having a healthy relationship. Unless someone can actually listen to you, see you, be there for you, and uh, want to actually work through conflict, through challenges with you, you've actually got nothing. You've just got rotten pear. You ain't got a fresh pear. So I hope that this is giving you some clarity because these are the three reasons why beautiful, smart women like yourself put up with crap. Take the breadcrumbs. Please do check out Never Lose Him. It is one of the most powerful relationship guides out there or programs out there. It'll expand on why someone like you, smart, gorgeous, actually does put up with crap, why we're attracted to what we're attracted to, how to have beautiful, connected, sexy relationships, how to attract the best men, how to deal with difficult challenges, 
all that is in that program. It's huge and yet very simple and easy to follow, meaning what is in there is comprehensive. It's going to give you the real tools, not just some superficial information about how to track men, which really doesn't get you anywhere because there are plenty of women listening to this that have no problem attracting men. They have problem attracting sometimes the right kind of men for them or choosing the right kind of men. This program clears all that out so that you can shop with men in a way that's empowered, sexy, and attracts the best men for you so you can finally have that deep, loving connection. Also, that free gift for you, Word Poison, is going to help you in any relationship to uh, articulate yourself in a way that allows for deeper intimacy and puts an end to conflict. So all of those links are right below. Now, before you go, please do subscribe to this channel and click that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. And it probably won't be about pears next time. Also, uh, please do uh, share this with a friend who needs some help getting over dating men with breadcrumbs. If anyone needs that, your friends need this kind of video because this is one of the biggest challenges. You know, 85% of women who contact me struggle with this. It is a massive problem. It's like an epidemic that women need help with to break the cycle. So please share. I wanna support you, so I wanna know how I best can support you, whether it's this on this topic or another topic. So please do comment below and join in with the community. It's been an honor to have you here with me I value you and I look forward to seeing you at my next hot topic.